hi guys welcome back to my channel i am ada so happy new year y'all happy happy new year 2022 y'all we are in a new year and guys 2021 is now past tense can y'all believe it how time flies right it's been what almost two years now since the covid outbreak like it started in 2020 in in march 2020 is when covid uh, infection started or when the covid lockdown started and now we're in 2022 january like two more months it'll be two years that is like wow i can't believe that we have been in a pandemic for two years almost two years that is unbelievable and um you know so in this episode i'm just gonna chit chat about you know what has been going on this past year and um you know as i you know pack up my decoration for for new year's celebration yeah i decorated this table for new year so we can you know have a little celebration you know ring in the new year so i'm just going to pack up everything as i chit chat with y'all okay so yeah this this past year was unbelievable unbelievable but i can say that it was better than 2020 2020 was horrible okay that was a nightmare because you know that was when you know this whole covid pandemic hit us and we did not know what hit us it was like come again <laughs> what's going on we're gonna go on a lockdown how long is this gonna last two weeks three weeks no a whole month no a whole year in fact two years now almost you know so it, it it was it was horrible okay and it's been going on since then but the good news is it's gotten better much better right so you know with the um invention of the covid vaccine hi y'all welcome back yeah so it's much better um You know, with the, with the COVID vaccine, at least for those that are, I'm making a video, you guys. Good. <laughs> New Year's video. Uh huh. Yeah. How was the mall? It was good. It was pretty empty. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it was guys. empty. Yeah, it was empty. Are you come on us to go eat. Ah. Uh, are you guys gonna leave again? Me and pops. Yeah. His his dad's birthday today. Oh. Uh, we want to do a dinner. Probably at like Chili's. Like oh, okay. At Chili's or something. Uh, later tonight. Oh, I see. You going with them? All right. I see. Did y'all buy him something at the mall? Yeah, I got him some shoes because like, I don't really know what he wants. So I just got him some Jordans. Okay. I'm pretty sure I like them. It was between that or just some slides. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. At least you got him something. Yeah, uh, I had to get him something this year. I tried to get him anything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. After a while, it's like, what do I get? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you run out of ideas. Right. But yeah, that's good. You guys got yeah. him something. So now we're just gonna watch a movie over here. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, All right. I don't want to get in your way of your video. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So um. Yeah. So y'all. So because you know people there was a lot of controversy about the, the vaccine so for that reason a lot of people did not want to get vaccinated but lucky for those of us that do believe in the vaccine the vaccine was available and we got vaccinated so you know that took away a lot of fear a lot of uncertainty about you know what might happen what the future holds right because you know the vaccine at least if you if you take it you're somewhat protected you know it's not known whether it protects you completely from getting the 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 virus you can still catch the virus but at least it won't kill you as fast as it's killing people right you have a better chance of survival so that's the good thing about the vaccine so but and now i'm hearing that a lot of uh, people that are ending up in the hospital are the ones that did not get vaccinated right so and the ones that are still dying are the ones that did not get vaccinated so there is some protection from it the ones that have gotten 
vaccinated, when they catch the virus, they don't tend to die. So there is protection with the, the vaccine. So that is good news. That's, you know, but then there are all these new variants coming up every so often a new variant pop, pops up and that's scary because then that means they, they don't know how to tackle these new variants. And they, they're not sure if we're still be, being protected by the vaccine, you know, because now this is a new variant that they don't know how it's going to behave, right? But at least we still stand to be somewhat protected. We are still lucky that there is some protection. Now, uh, recently, I got my booster shot. And, um, you know, that's the third shot. I got the Moderna vaccine. So with the Moderna, they give you a third shot. With the Pfizer, it's a booster. So I got my, no, no. With Moderna, it's a booster. Yeah, with Pfizer, it's a third shot. So I got Moderna, so I got a booster. And they say that booster is like half the, you know, half the amount of um, vaccine that I got the first two. But I had the worst reaction with the third dose. So um, yeah, because my arm, you know, where I got the shot, it still hurts. It's been a week and it still hurts. But I had, okay, here are my symptoms. I had low grade fever and i had body aches i felt chills i felt like i had you know a flu coming on and i was tired an entire day so that was my symptom i felt really you know i wouldn't say really sick but i felt down right and um you know it lasted a whole 24 hours and after that i was okay right and then the arm hurts it's a lot of pain you know but you know you take Tylenol I took Tylenol and Motrin I alternated the Motrin and Tylenol and then I um, you know put cold compress on it to you know because because it, <clears throat> it was kind of hot in that area it was hard to lift the arm up and down so yeah that that's the that's that's how it was for me now some people have taken that same shot and they didn't feel anything. They just had a little pain here and they're good, right? So everybody's body reacts to it differently, but that is how my body reacted to it. So, but I am still, I still feel fortunate enough that there is a vaccine that we can take because the, you know, the uh, uncomfortableness that I felt is far less than what it would have been if I did not get vaccinated right i mean we're talking about people ending up on ventilators you know people not being able to breathe and actually ending up dead i didn't have any of those problems you know with the third dose i didn't have any of that problem so it was just a mild discomfort that lasted 24 hours and then i'm good to go right so i think it's a, a small price to pay for the big picture right so that's uh that's it. So I packed up my New Year um, party decor so next year I can reuse it, right? So that's what I do. Unless you know it becomes really messed up, then I'll throw it away. But other than that, I've had this for a couple of years now, and it's still good. So I'm gonna reuse it for next year. Uh huh. So and then we had we had all these drinks. So I'm gonna put them away, right? Mm -hmm. I'm take a sip. So, I'm going to put away my Irish cream. This is always a nice drink to have around. Mm -hmm. And Miss Stella Rosa. It's always nice too. Nice, mild wine for women. You know, ladies like this wine. So, mm hmm. So, so yeah, look at this. Is this a bougie or what, right? Yeah, I got these glasses for Christmas. Yes. So I think I will use this for next New Year. This will be my 
where I'm going to use the drink. Alrighty, but for now, I will put it away. And uh, yeah, I've got some margaritas. This one and the strawberry margarita. These are pre mixed margaritas. So I put everything away because the party is over. The, the 2021 is gone. Bye bye. So it's time to put away everything concerning 2021. And this one, we use it to mix drinks. So that is it, y'all. I hope you guys had a fantastic New Year celebration. I wish everyone a happy New Year. I um, hope that you have your New Year resolutions set so that you can start you know, implementing some of those things and get a lot accomplished this year. Um, you know, it's always good to start at the beginning of the year doing what you say you're gonna do, all right? Don't procrastinate, start right away. Today is the second. So I would start today and, um, you know, just do it consistently, be consistent with it, and you will accomplish what you set out to, you know. It's good to make a, a resolution and have something in mind, have a plan in mind of, you know, what you, the things that you're going to accomplish or the things that you plan to accomplish this year. And, you know, if you end up accomplishing all of it, great. But don't be discouraged if you end up not accomplishing every single thing that you have on your resolution you know because you know we got to be realistic sometimes life happens and sometimes you know you can't really do everything as planned right but at least you have a game plan that is the thing and then you stay consistent and work towards it that is the important thing as long as you are working towards it then you're good right and so uh yes have a wonderful 2022 everyone and um that concludes this episode and so i will see you guys if you enjoyed my video please give me that thumbs up and like and subscribe to my channel and uh, i will see you in my next episode all right bye bye